Well, there's no other way to say it. The heat trend is just going to continue. That's right. We checked in with Fort Wayne Community Schools to learn what goes into preparing for a week when temperatures soar. Wayne 15, Sierra Tufts is live in the newsroom with the measures leaders are taking. Good morning, Sierra. Good morning, Pat and Emily. The good news is almost all the schools in FWCS have air conditioning. However, Lindley Elementary, Waynedale Elementary, and portions of Wayne High School do not. There are plans in place to get air conditioning in those schools soon. But in the meantime, the school district has plans in place for these really hot days. Some of the practices include turning off the lights, making sure kids are wearing light clothing and hydration. The school district says all of its buildings have water refilling stations, which is especially important because drinking fountains are off limits because of COVID. But it also has a suggestion for kids that do have air conditioning in their schools. You know, layers are always a good idea because sometimes they might have a walk to school where it's warm or walk home, um, but then they get to their school building and it's air conditioned. And as adults, we all know that air conditioning is great, but sometimes you get cold in air conditioning. So um, that's one of the, uh, I, I guess, just lifelong lessons that kids have to learn that layers are important um, because sometimes you're really hot and sometimes you just need that extra uh, jacket or cardigan or whatever to put on. The school district says its coaches are also well versed in recognizing issues when it comes to heat and its players. They also might not practice in full gear in this type of heat. Of course, masks are required at FWCS and coming up in the next half hour, we'll go over what they're doing to help lessen that heat on kids' faces. Live in the newsroom, Sierra Tufts, Wayne 15 News.